Hello and welcome to part two of my CZ457 long range precision video. The CZ457 Long Range Precision uses standard 2.2 rimfire ammunition. There's a lot of 2.2 rimfire ammunition out there and your rifle may have a preference for which one it groups with the best. I haven't done any tests to find out which ammunition my rifle prefers yet. However, I have been running Ely Subsonic, Cellier and Bellet Subsonic, CCI Mini Mag, Blazer, and they all run fine. I will do some tests down at the range to see if I can work out exactly which ammunition my rifle prefers. Load in your magazine. The CZ457 Long Range Precision comes with a standard five round plastic magazine. Bring it closer just so you can see it. To insert rounds into the magazine, you place the round on the top of the feed lips, push down and then slide the round all the way to the back. To insert the next round, you push down on that round and then slide it all the way back. And you continue that until the magazine is full. Five rounds later, that magazine is now full. If you come to the end of your range day and you want to empty your magazines to put your ammunition back in the boxes, you just simply slide it out from the rear forwards. So I don't know if you can see that, just slide with your finger. and then you can stow the ammunition safely. Loading the rifle. To load the rifle, ensure the bolt is back. On the base of the rifle, you have a magazine well. Pointing the rifle in a safe direction, get your magazine and place it into the magazine well. It should slide all the way in. And there may or may not be a little audible click. Always pull down your magazine just to make sure that it is secure. So that is the rifle loaded. When you chamber around at the range, make sure the rifle is pointing in a safe direction. At the range, make sure the rifle is pointing in a safe direction. Run the bolt forwards. It will pick up around and insert it into the chamber. And that is your rifle ready to fire. On the rear of the rifle, you have the cocking indicator protruding. <laughs> to unload your rifle after you finish shooting, make sure your safety is on, finger, away from the trigger. Depress the magazine release lever, so pull it back towards you. Your magazine will drop out. Remove the magazine. Open the bolt. Bolt to the rear. That will eject the round. Ensure that it's clear. Once you're happy the rifle is clear, insert your breech flag. I thoroughly recommend that you do not dry fire your 2.2 rimfire rifle as it will damage the striker or the mechanism or perhaps even the bolt face. So just don't do it. If you do want to dry fire practice with your 2.2, make sure you use snap caps. After you've been to the range and you've put a fair few rounds through your rifle, you're going to want to clean it. Well, I hope you're going to want to clean it. You need to keep your rifle nice and clean so that it's maintained and that the next time you take it out of the cabinet, it's going to be the same performance that you expect. So, to make sure you can maintain your rifle, you're going to need to invest in some cleaning equipment for your rifle. I have a Bortec Bore Sticks 36 inch cleaning rod. Um, these things, look at that, amazing. Um, decent bearings and everything in there. Good construction, coated, so good bit of kit. Also, these ones are color coded as well, so you're going to want the orange handled one. Bortec Rimfire Blend. Just follow the instructions on the back as to how to clean it. Um, I will do a video, but just do what it says there, and you can't go wrong. Bortec Friction Guard XP. Uh, this is gun oil but it's good it's a good gun oil um, it's quite um, it's a nice thick consistency so it stays on there 
unlike some of the sprays which will come off quite easily um, this will stay there to go with the bore sticks i have nylon brushes so these are the Bortec nylon brushes and a patch jag there you go I just keep them in one container. They all come separately in like little containers like this. And you're gonna need one inch patches. I get the uh, thousand packs of Bortec patches and that should last you a good while, but they're all cut to size. So it's nice and easy because you don't wanna spend your entire life cleaning. Other things you might find useful. I have a breech tool. Uh, these are designed for uh, 556. Um, semi-auto rifles so probably kind of military application etc however they're just really cool because they can bend into places where my fingers can't quite bend that way and um, you've got a little brush attachment there it comes with a few spares but that can go on in a number of different configurations depending on the angle of the thing you're trying to clean a spiky bit that you can use for cleaning uh, getting in those awkward little places um, the tool folds up nice and small there um, so they can get packed away in your kit. So that's that's talking about actually cleaning the rifle itself. So the barrel, the, you know, the bolt um, and just making sure that it's dry. So whenever you put it away, if you come back from a shoot and it's absolutely soaking, you're going to need to take the barrel and action out of the chassis and dry it properly and oil it and make sure that it is good before you stow it away because otherwise it's just going to go orange and you don't want that the other thing you should really invest in is a optics kit uh, this is a little one that vortex do um, there are other manufacturers out there that do similar kind of kits uh, i quite like this one comes in a nice little pouch has a lens cloth there this is like a little lens towel, lens cleaning paper. Don't use anything else apart from lens paper on your lenses because you will take the film off. There's like a protective film on your lenses. If you use like rough papers, um, you know, toilet paper, whatever else, just don't because you will damage or scratch your lenses. So you've got optical cleaning tissue there. Again, um, doesn't have to be Vortex, you can you can grab some off um, Amazon or wherever the packs of lens cleaning paper. Anti-fog lens cleaner. So this is just comes in a nice little handy pump spray bottle. So you can take that off, uh, give your lens a squirt. Like that. Give your lens a little squirt. Um, and then there's loads on there. So you can use your lens, um, use the paper and clean that off the kit also comes with a little ultra brush in this container so take the lid off i do it one-handed take the lid off and then twist it and then you've got a little lens brush in there and that's ideal just for gently getting rid of any dirt dust debris that may be on or around your lenses and so brush them off first uh, give them a spray then use the lens paper um, and then dry them off with a cloth that's that's what i do um, it's totally up to you. Like I say, you don't want something really harsh on your lenses because you, you want to keep that coating on there. So um, nice little kit, nice and compact, and that can go in your bag um, or in your cleaning kit back at home. So you've got your CZ457 Long Range Precision. You're really happy with the rifle, but you would like to upgrade it. What sort of thing could you do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few options uh, that you might want to consider for your rifle. Uh, these are things that I'm going to be putting on my rifle. The CZ457 comes in a beach chassis uh, that is rubber coated, so it's got like a non-slip coating. Um, don't get me wrong, it's a nice chassis. I do like it, but it has swivel studs on the bottom um, and it doesn't have any M-lock, so I can't add any other attachments no arc or rail. Uh, the other thing about this chassis uh, that I would like to change if I could is have toolless adjustment on the buttstock. So be able to raise and lower the cheek piece 
and be able to um, extend the buttstock without having to use tools or pads. Um, like I say, I think this um, that's probably the only thing on this stock that I would change. Uh, so CZ, if you're listening, toolless adjustment would be amazing. What chassis have I gone for? I decided to go for a Rotini Officina Mechanica chassis Motus. Look at this thing. It is awesome. A few good things about this chassis. When you buy this chassis, it comes with everything you need to be able to upgrade it. So the forend is included. The buttstock is included. The pistol grip is included. You get one of their pro angle muzzle brakes and a high 20 MOA rail. So if you have one of the older style CZ457s where you have to add your own rail, it comes with the rail within the kit so you don't have to go out and buy another one. The rifle only comes with a five round magazine. So if you're looking to get into precision rifle uh, with your 2.2, you're going to need to invest in a couple of either 10 or 12 round or more magazines. Um, I've seen people have got some obscenely long 2.2 magazines that will fit in the CZ. Um, I went for two 10 round magazines. Um, they're nice and small. I went for metal ones as well, just so they're a little bit more robust. Um, yeah, two 10 round magazines. Optics. I decided to go for the Vortex Strike Eagle. So this is the five by 25 by 56. It's a 34 mil tube. Um, it's got a, it focuses down to 15 yards um, all the way through to infinity. So if you do want to do dry fire practice at home with this, uh, you can quite easily dial it right down to 15 yards and then hopefully um, you'll have enough space either inside your house or in your garden to be able to do a little bit of dry fire practice with snap caps. Don't dry fire the rifle without snap caps. Um, but you could go through the motions, you could do gear checks, etc. I've gone off topic, haven't I? Anyway, I was talking about the scope. Um, so yeah, things I like about this scope is it's got locking turrets. So you lift the turret, you can you turn it around and you can lock it down. So if you are going to dial elevation, uh, for a stage you're not going to knock it off it's going to stay on whatever you dial it to this thing's got zero stops as well so lift it up yeah, zero stop fitted and that goes 0.5 mrad below your zero and then you can just lock it back in normal wind turrets also got an illuminated reticle on this as well with 11 different settings so that takes one cr 2023 battery off the top of my head what I found with this rifle is I needed to go with the high mounts to be able to make sure that I could see through the scope properly. If you're hunting or at a range where they don't like noise, you're going to need to invest in a moderator. I went for a Wildcat Whisper. So this is the Wildcat Whisper 2.2. All of their moderators are color coded, so they're purple. On the end, it says Wildcat Whisper. Great thing about the Wildcat suppressors is you can take them apart to clean them. So. Unscrew the ends. I need to clean that. <laughs> so there you go. You can take that apart. Uh, this is all color coded as well. So uh, purple inner on there. Baffles. And then. Okay, so I can't get the other end out, which probably means I really do need to clean it. Um, yeah, 2.2 two is quite dirty ammo, but yeah, you can take it apart. You can use a bit of, uh, use a toothbrush, not the one that you're using for your teeth, but the spare one, uh, but you can use a toothbrush um, and a bit of washing up liquid, warm water, uh, that should get most of that off. Um, and if you have a sonic cleaner, you can use that just to drop it in afterwards. So, pop that one back together. That was a bit of a fail, wasn't it? Because I couldn't open up the other end. But they are they do come apart, trust me. I just need to have my Weetabix so that I can take the end off. Um, if you've got a moderator, you're going to want a moderator cover. 
So I went for the Coltac high temperature Python. I think I've done a video on this, but it comes with a high temperature inner sleeve. And then you've got a lined Cordura outer with three straps on it. So not only will these uh, protect from any heat haze that is coming off there, they, they look pretty damn cool too. And that is part of it, right? So yeah, if you wanna make your rifle look cool, get one of them.